Let's balance the equation for C plus S8 gives us a CS2. We have carbon and then we have octasulfur and this is carbon disulfide. The first thing we need to do is count the atoms up. We have one carbon and eight of these sulfur atoms in the reactants. In the products, we have the one carbon and then the two sulfur atoms. Let's put a four as our coefficient in front of the CS2. This four goes to everything. So one carbon times four, it'll give us four of those, but two times four, two sulfurs times four, that'll give us eight. So we've balanced the sulfur atoms. Now, since this carbon's by itself, if we change the coefficient, it won't change the number of sulfurs. So we just put a four as the coefficient for carbon, one times four, that'll give us four, and we're done. This equation is balanced. If you want to write the states, they look like this. So carbon and sulfur, at least initially, they would be solids. I'm guessing you're probably going to have to heat this up. So the sulfur, that may go towards a liquid. And then CS2, at room temperature, this is a liquid. But again, if this is hot, if you heated this up to make the reaction happen, then it would be a gas. Although once it cooled down, it may change back to a liquid. If you want to know the type of reaction here, we have carbon and this octasulfur coming together. So when these two things come together to form one thing, we call this a combination or synthesis reaction. This would also be considered a redox reaction because the elements here change their oxidation states. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for C plus S8 yields CS2. Thanks for watching.